Coagu Check in Range. The right connections build confidence. The Coagu Check in Range system was specifically designed to give you the confidence to self monitor your INR and stay in range longer. This video will walk you through what you need to know to test your PT INR value. Let's review the Coagu Check in Range and what it can do for you. The Coagu Check in Range enables you to track your time in range by graphically displaying how many times you have been within, above, or below your target therapeutic range. You can view your results on a PC by connecting your device via USB cable. Now you are ready to test your INR value. The first thing to do is to make sure that you have everything you need to run a test. A CoaguCheck in-range meter. A container of CoaguCheck XSPT test PST strips and a code chip. CoaguCheck XS soft clicks lancing device and a CoaguCheck soft clicks lancet. A lint-free cloth or paper tissue. Have the test strip container at hand. Make sure that the code chip belonging to these test strips is available or that the information has previously been stored in the meter. Prepare the lancing device by inserting a fresh lancet. Prime the lancing device by pushing the plunger all the way down. The release button on the side of the lancing device has now turned yellow. This indicates that the CoaguCheck XS soft clicks is primed and ready for use. To get a suitable drop of blood, remember to always wash your hands with warm water and dry them thoroughly before you test your INR value. Place the meter on a level, vibration-free surface or hold it in your hand so that it is horizontal, like on a desk or table. Power the meter on by pressing the Enter button or you can insert a test strip into the meter. This will turn the CoaguCheck in-range meter on and will put the meter after startup into test mode directly. If the meter displays a battery low message, you can still perform up to three tests. Remember to replace the batteries as soon as possible. Check that the time and date are correct. If necessary, re-enter time and date. Take a test strip from the container and always remember to immediately close it again with the stopper. This helps to protect the remaining strips. Hold the test strip so that the arrows are facing upwards. Slide the test strip into the test strip guide as far as it will go. Once the test strip and blood drop symbols appear on the screen, the meter is ready to test your blood sample. You now have 180 seconds to apply your blood to the test strip. When lancing your finger, always use the side of the finger rather than the tip, as it is more comfortable and less sensitive. Press the lancing device firmly against the side of your finger and press the yellow release button. Lightly massage the lanced finger into the direction of the fingertip until a drop of blood is formed. Apply blood directly from the finger to the sample application area of the test strip and let it fill. You must apply the blood drop to the test strip within 15 seconds of lancing the fingertip. Applying blood after this time period may cause an inaccurate result, as the blood may have already started to clot. When enough blood has filled the strip, the meter will let you know by beeping. The blood drop symbol disappears and the test starts. Do not touch the test strip until the result is displayed. In the background, the meter now performs an automatic quality control check of the test strip and the coagulation measurement starts. The circular indicator lets you know when the meter has determined the result. The result is displayed. If you wish, you can add up to six predefined comments to a test result. Comments can, for example, provide additional information about the test conditions or your general state of health to help you understand what could impact your result. 
These comments can only be added immediately after the test result is displayed and before the meter is powered off. It is that easy. Press and hold the Enter button until the meter powers off. Now, two important final steps. First, dispose the used test strips in your regular household waste. Then, carefully dispose of the used lancet so that it cannot cause injury to yourself or others. Use a sturdy sharps container with lid. Remove the cap and point the lancing device into the sharps container and slide the ejector forward as shown. Then, place the cap back on the lancing device. Remember to store everything in the carrying case for the next time you need to test. You will find more information in the user's manual. If you still have any questions, just call your CoaguCheck customer care line or visit our CoaguCheck website.